clutch is slipping. We don't know the reason why. We got a new clutch, so we're gonna do a hard break in. Because the action clutch is slipping, so. Well, ACT, let's see what happens. All right, so what you're supposed to do to let the clutch slip is you're supposed to engage the clutch all the way down, right? Can't even, I can't, you know what's funny? I can't even record and do this shit because it's just fucking a um, little more difficult. Gotta have the car in third gear, and basically you have to let the clutch slip. Basically, once you're fucking pressing the thing down, once you start letting it go and you feel it, feel it starts about engaging, like basically before it starts to engage, you fucking hit the gas like to about 3,000 RPMs, let it basically, let the clutch basically slip. You'll probably smell the clutch or something. And make sure that after, you know what I mean, basically while you're letting it go, once you're done doing that for like about two seconds, you hold down completely so the clutch is in free play. So let me give you an example. spin right now because if you do it for too long basically uh you can fucking weld it you can weld the disc or the pressure plate to the fucking flywheel so you gotta hold it down for about one minute Off the car and wait 10 minutes. You did it how many times? You did it three times, right? That's three times already. Yeah, you're good. You go like that. Yeah, don't put the clutch out yet, though. I'm still holding the clutch for one minute. After I did it twice back to back. And this is on a ACT uh, six buck sprung disc with an action clutch pressure plate and an ACT eight pound flywheel. So now it's time to take it to the street, right? Yeah, I mean the guy at ACT said that's all you need. You just gonna you need to do a couple hard slips. That's it. Should be ready to go. Put the clutch in. Put it in gear. Right. Start. That's fine. That's good. Put the clutch in. Watch. Clutch in gear. Gear in. Find the bite point. Don't don't give it gas. Find the bite point. When it starts grabbing, now give it the gas. Now. Too. Sorry for saying the word basically 55 million times, you know. Um, so there's another way to break in the clutch besides the way that I did it right now with the five minute intervals. And before, to some people told me you can turn off the car for one minute, you can turn it off for one minute and hold the clutch down. Others said that you should hold it down before you turn off the car for one minute, whatever. I, I did it the way I did it. Um, you can pick your poison how you want to slip your clutch burn you can do burnouts and everything else like that There's many different ways to do it. There's no really correct way, but just to do a couple hard launches And that's what a six buck sprung uh, I wouldn't recommend it with the stage two because that one needs a break-in process Which kind of sucks. So go stage three stage four. You should be good with that The other way that I heard was that you can do the the slips back to back Go drive around do whatever you want and then before you park the car for the night um, hold it down for one minute while the car is off so turn off the car and just just hold the hold the basically holding it down because when you're holding it down the it's going to be able to cool off separately so um i don't know do whichever slip you want and hopefully it works for you i punch the car it's probably fine and it feels good and hopefully i make it to fast fest so hope you guys enjoy the video sorry i said the word for so long or so many times actually <laughs>